in this game. It's it's really the other heroes on the side of Mineski which which have struggled to pull away. I would say. This is the thing because they're he's dragging so much attention away. There's not really that good roaming four potential that we see from Mineski. Like the tree's nice, but it's quite defensive. Well, tree will be caught coming in. Gonna try and throw down that overgrowth oh, and with the look. Oh, and the death ward as well coming in the back lines have completely cleared out Miracle and Kuroki. Now turning it around, trying to get the two men. He does still have this Aegis, so only bringing him down once. Meanwhile, mind control waiting in the wings. Moon just trying to block the block that hook shot. No mind moves out of the way, allows the hook shot to come through onto Jabs as he gets that net once again, trying to bring down this PL, but it's just too much damage. Jabs is going to go down the Tumberman. He just it's going to oh he's actually dropping oh, really low here, but he's juking them out the wrong way. Matumaman making it to the tree line and Moon realizes just way too late that Matumaman is just gonna sit in the trees, TP out. The Sky of Mage and Arme some sanking on sanking action as he goes in with the Burrow Strike onto GH. Not quite enough damage to burst him down. And GH, in fact, he's able to blink down and set up for a kill with the Sun Strike as the burst comes through. They will get X over, but he gets on this. Two man shackle shot. Controls there. It will get cancelled straight away as Arme comes forward with the two man Burrow Strike. They're trying to turn this one around here by the Shrine. LTD, can they chase down any members of Liquid? Liquid, they do have the numbers. Miracle actually coming in from the side is able to finish off Somnus. Again, another very big pick off here. Liquid, can they get more out of this? TP coming in towards the shrine. They're fighting in a very risky position, Liquid. But Superman getting focused towards. He's got some timing here with the Invis. Trying to get himself out of this. But Miracle, he's continuing to find his kills. He's got a triple kill. Can he get more out of this? He's punching into this nice look. He's got a lot of resistance with the Chrysodon. It's not a lot. This Miracle with the Ultra Kill. They're looking towards Arme. Can they win? Fight yet a fifth out of this Miracle. It's incredibly low. They'll turn with the new Kame. Trying to bring that Miracle. But Miracle, he carries on. They're looking to try and set up for the rap bait. They want to give it to him. I don't know if it's going to be soon enough. It moves. In, and he gets oh. it! Miracle with the 20 minute rampage against all odds! Fighting LGD around their shrine! Liquid! I feel like this is the liquid that people have sort of been waiting to see in these games against LGD. These are the sort of plays that CI winners can pull out. Miracle Invoker. It's not, even, it's not even the AM's issue, right? It's the rest of his team right now is just getting crushed. He's 1-0 yep. and 1. And nowadays, it feels like the strategy about playing against an AM is curse. Farm doesn't really Two matter. Two seconds, one second. Fear! Oh, 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 down he goes! That's easy. Cleaning up the creep wave. Mind Control stands to the front lines as the Plague Wards are putting down Miracle, wondering who he really wants to pop. He doesn't have the combination for another eight seconds, but ten. The damage into crit is unbelievably high. Wave form in. The Ravage wants to buy more time. The and the throws the IA on all the way into base, but it connects on Samael, hiding in the fountain. He Wait, pop once more. This game is done. It's over. Not even 20 minutes on the board. It's an ultra He's kill. He's pinging for the rampage. He wants it. Give it to him. Arteezy in the corner. It's a rampage for Miracle. Trying to stop every little bit of push that comes out. Yeah, so difficult for Liquid. They have to manage these other lanes coming in, but also stop this sure damage on their ranged barracks. They have a glyph, but you don't want to use it for an auto attacking timber saw. I think Moo playing this absolutely right, just trying to bait Liquid into an uncomfortable position. BKB popped by Chessie as Mind Control jumps in. Kuro the first one to fall. Matu does get off the ultimate, but it's probably going to cost him his life. Call downs coming. Now the glyph flies, but GH Matumba Man dead. It's just a miracle. Oh, mind control Does there. he have enough to hold on? The buyback's coming now. Complexity going all in. Triple kill for Miracle. He gets off the Sunder. He's actually going to survive for now, and he's going to win this battle against Moo. He's going to timber chain away, but those last few auto attacks, it's a rampage for Miracle. And Complexity do get repelled. Maybe Liquid still have a chance. Three heroes down without buyback. Chessy on the run, but they've got the slows. The Scotty chasing him down and still plenty of time on this metamorphosis. Good. Maybe this is something we can find here. The dust from Tim's, they do jump onto the TA. There are a lot of dire heroes inbound though, and Miracle does a lot of damage. He brings Tim's relatively low. BKBs get popped on both sides. Miracle gets swapped back. And those exorcism flies. ghosties are doing so much work. Armel will be able to finish him off with a sleight of fish. But the rest of Liquid now jumping into the fray. It's a big back wall as Matumba Man jumps in the front lines. Song of the Siren breaks it up as the epicenter comes through. Impale's ready. Buyback from the TA. She's trying to get back into this. It's a nice meteor hammer. He Picture perfect uh, toggles it, and all four of TNC get killed. Raven, the only one still alive, 
It's not too deep and wind run on cooldown, so Rolling Thunder from Pasha goes to work. He's so low on life. I'm not certain you want to go back into this fight. Turns left, but Miracle has the damage from range. Now wave bomb forward. The disrupt the storm is perfect from solo. Miracle, he leaves with the star fall. He actually does go down. Ramsey's managed to hit him from long range. But the rock from Kuro back off cooldown. No jump away from Ramsey's. He'll turn. Actually, yeah, he will. He'll turn into Marana. Has a leap of bevel. Has a second one. Has a third one. Oh this is the bouncing cat. Oh, oh, what? Bullshit! He hit him from range! The axe has reached that far! Oh, he got cocky. This oh. team's distracting him. This band on the chat wheel already like he's out of dodge. And because of the Octarine core, Universe almost has... But it's up in the back line. The Dark Hopter's almost dead. A four staff tries to get him a little bit farther away. What a beautiful snowball. DJ protects his carry a little bit longer. Now the BKB active. Abed trying to get away. Careful of my control, though. The infinite shots are so dangerous. Matumba Man, he's got a maledict on him. Somebody save Matumba Man. Universe comes in. Black hole. He actually locks down the Visage. And look at the back line. Envy, he's actually locked down the Enchantries. They've got the big damage dealer, and he's dead. Universe, he's going to die, though, for the Black Hole. Matumba Man, he's going to be up next. Infestor's up in two seconds. Oh, what an episode, RG! GH! He's coming in big! Damn the d damage dealers! It's Kuro and GH together forever trying to win this game for Liquid! Universe pushed back on the side device on him, but DJ comes in a big walrus punch up to the Visage to take him out. They have a buyback on him, and they've already bought back on Matumba Man. So everyone buying back. Liquid want to end this game right here, right now. The jump, and that's not something they want to do. So they glimpse back the wall up. Song of the Siren is out. Pasha already started the Rolling Thunder. And maybe now they're trying to work out who they go on. The Storm never came down. So Kuro got his rock and Fatal Bones off. Not to mention GH's position. The Shackle was superb. And they get the power shot out too. Ramsey's, he wanted to do a whole bunch of damage in this fight, but nothing happens. He just turns into GH, tries to run away. And the Storm and Wall used defensively. This is not the dream for Verda's Pro. Kunker's in trouble. Miracle attacking from the side. He's Ooh. low on life and then gets pulled back away. Staying alive with the one charges. GH is a triple kill. He's looking for the quad. No one's inside the base. The roar is up. The power shot's there. They give it to him and GG well played. Team Liquid. Pro strike with the epicenter. Here comes. There's the burrow. Here comes the epi. Boom. Static storm. Miracle's like, wait a minute. This disruptor's level six. Oh! And with the clutch ball save. Miracle time walks away, but he still holds on. Unbelievable. GH. What a play from G the bodyguard. That Matumba man to safety. They're still going to try for this one. Unfortunately, Mind Control was able to blink ahead of the shards there. Hey, duel. They need to get the shrine out, but the Ice Blast is coming in. Good idea, General, but it just wasn't quite enough. The turnaround silence. Onto Rubik. GH hoping to be able to get that kill. Rolls the past him hammer. instead. But Meteor Hammer! On the tower! Kuro, the genius! He knew it all along. He saw this opportunity come. Then he tried to let loose the ultimate of GH. Oh, no. Cuts that down. He denies the ulti. Oh, Senenko. He doesn't even make it out, it's a wipe. Coming out on top of this as they take down three, Somnus has to run them back up to the high ground. And despite having the BKB on Somnus, they just don't quite have the damage to, to sort of bring down Liquid before Liquid bring down themselves. Perfect, he's perfect right now. Morphling farming, oh. Oh, oh this is a little awkward. Oh, 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 oh dear. He's a TI winner. I mean he is. Karaoke! Getting solo killed.